What up YouTube, welcome back to the Life of Freedom YouTube channel. My name is Sal and on today's video, we're talking about travel and money. And specifically, how do you make money while you travel? And I'm doing that by just sharing my own case. Manny, look at that, I'm spelling this wrong already. Money. Um, you know, I, I've traveled a lot in my life. Um, when I was in college, I did a study abroad in London. When I was in London, I went to Paris, I went to Italy, got to see Venice, got to see Florence. Um, I've really been around a lot. Even in high school, I went to China, I went to Beijing, Xi'an, uh, Xi'an Shanghai. Um, and then after college, I also continued to travel so I've been to Puerto Rico, I've been to Cuba, I've been to um, Thailand, my recent trip to El Salvador, I was in LA recently, so I'm always traveling. I'm always trying to incorporate travel into my lifestyle because it's something that I love to do. The cool thing is that as I've been getting older, I've been able to also make money while I travel, and specifically this is after college. So I'd say from 2013 on, I've been able to make money while I've been traveling, and I wanna share today with you how to do the the exact same thing. So when it comes to travel, you really have to think a little bit about the different ways, the different variables here that are at play. So we're gonna get a little bit um, nitty gritty, a little bit more on the logic side of the equation here when it comes to earning money. So first of all, I wanna share with you how I do this. So my income streams. My income streams primarily are ads from my blog, my blog crowdcrux.com slash sponsored content. I also then have affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is when um, I basically will recommend a product or a service and I get a small commission if someone decides to buy that product or service and I make sure I only recommend things that I really love or things that I myself use or I know the actual quality of that. So it's affiliate marketing. I also make money from books and eBooks. So I've written uh, six books which are available on Amazon. And I also have um, Audible copies so you can download the actual audio book. So I, this, is, this is continually earning me income every single month. In addition to that, I also make money from coaching. So coaching meaning one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching sessions, one-on-one -on -one helping people with their business needs when it comes to my niche. In addition, when I was first getting started, I was also doing freelancing. So that's something that you could do if you're interested in earning money um, from your laptop. Along with coaching, I also have my larger online programs. So my online programs are basically video training systems that really break down a lot of stuff that I haven't shared publicly before. So when it comes to my industry, I use these video programs to introduce people to concepts that get them results faster. It's really a sort of a putting coaching and programs together. It's really super, it's like, it's like hyperspeed, if you will, um, helping people get results in a much faster manner and also with a lot more assurances. So my programs are another source of my income when it comes to my online business, I also have a podcast. So with the podcast comes sponsorship income. So people will pay um, to be sponsored not only in the beginning of the show, also in the middle. Um, people are paying me regularly. Every single episode that I put out, I'm making money from my podcast. Now one of the things that started in 2016 is now I also make money from YouTube. Not this necessarily, this YouTube channel, but my other channel, Crowdfunding Demystified. Um, that channel has more than 7,000 subscribers. Not only do I make money from advertisements there, I'm gonna be starting to get into sponsored videos. And I also, this drives traffic to things like my programs, like my coaching, but also drives traffic to articles, which I make money from affiliate marketing. So all this kind of works hand in hand here. Finally, um, my final source of income, and there might be one or two out there that I just, I haven't thought of. Um, my my kick my forum so I have an online forum that is related to the industry that I'm in and it has more than 8,000 members on that forum and I have a company that sponsors me that basically sponsors this online forum and it's related to the industry so they're they're getting the reach of 8,000 people there regularly visiting and commenting and they're basically the the sponsor of this forum so that's another source of income for me when it comes to my business but the most important thing here comes down to your time because when you're traveling you know if you're going out there and you're going and you're hiking up 
uh, up the Hollywood sign, or you're in El Salvador and you don't have access to the internet, or you're going anywhere, you're in Cuba and you're on a beach and you're walking down the beach, you don't always want to be working. So the, really the question here is your time. And this is something that I made a prior, more priority in my life. While I do love working and putting in hard work, I also don't necessarily always want to have to put in time in order to earn income. So the, the real question is, which income sources are tied to my time? So I'll, I'll sort of draw a line here just showing you the ones that are directly tied to my time. Actually, let's use a, a red marker here for that one. So coaching, that takes up my time. And also, if you are doing your own, it would be like freelancing. My programs, usually I'll combine a bit of coaching with my programs, but aside from that, there's also video here as a component of the program, so that's already all made. That isn't comprised with my time. And then the only other thing basically taking up my time is content creation. So this could be content on the YouTube channels, it could be content on the podcast or the blog. I forgot to put it in here, in blog in here. Um, this blog, I've written more than 800 articles on this blog, blog, blog believe it or not, if I can say it correctly. Um, I've written more than 800 articles on this blog. It's been with me since 2012, has had millions of people visit this, this blog. Um, so content creation is not something to be taken lightly. You know, I'm regularly putting out content on the podcast, on YouTube, on the blog. Um, for most of the, the forum is sort of self-generating with the content. They've also created other bits of content when it comes to like the, the books and also the programs that I have. So content creation takes up a lot of my time. So what I try to do is I examine my life, I examine my business and I think, okay, how can I automate some of this? How can I take some of this off of my plate and how can I free up my time and in that way enjoy more freedom in my life and also when I'm traveling, I don't always have to be thinking about work. Though actually I do like to work so sometimes I will I'll be taking like video footage and stuff like that when it comes to content creation the number one way that I can free up my time is I can schedule articles podcasts and YouTube videos to go out in the future so I'm recording this video now. I'm not exactly sure when I'm gonna release it. I could release this video in the next three weeks. I could release it in the next month. You know, I don't really know when I'm gonna release this video, honestly. But uh, also with blog articles, I can schedule content to go out in the next month or the next two months. Same with podcasts, same with other YouTube videos. So scheduling is what allows me to have free time. I can be going on a trip and I can regularly have blog posts, podcasts, YouTube videos coming out. And in that way, um, I don't have to deal with that um, that work, that, that pillar, if you will, um, when I'm on the trip. Now, this is getting a bit advanced, I know, because <laughs> we could get really nitty gritty here, but um, I really do want to give you the real answer because I, I want this to sort of be a video that I can reference um, in the future if people are asking questions. But basically, um, when it comes to this, this is all all the, the work that I'm doing that requires time. This is my income. The question is, why is it that I'm continually earning money from things like affiliate marketing, ads and sponsorships, um, coaching programs, all that stuff. Why am I continually earning money from that? And the answer here is traffic and lead. So I'm actually gonna erase this. We'll, we'll, get, we'll um, give you a, a sort of a clean slate here so you guys can see more easily, but it's not enough just to have these different income sources. You have to have a way that people are continually buying your products. You, know, you have to have a way that people are continually enrolling in your programs or hiring you for coaching. So that's really the magic sauce, if you will. Uh, when it comes to time, when it comes to time and not having that tied to your money, you have to have a way that people are continually discovering you. So when it comes to discovery, um, the thing that matters is traffic, of course, and leads. So in terms of traffic, um, where are people discovering me online? A lot of people are discovering me from social media, like Twitter. They're discovering me when I share things on Facebook. They're discovering me from Google when they do a Google search. They're discovering me from groups, like LinkedIn groups. They're discovering me from my online forum. 
You know, there are lots of places, and then you have marketplaces, marketplaces like YouTube, where people can learn and get suggested videos, and they come across one of my videos. Or if you're on Amazon, that's also a marketplace where people are searching for books, and they are recommended different books. So you bought this item, maybe you want this item. So the other way that people discover me is from Amazon and different marketplaces. So traffic, this is the number one thing that you want to be worried about if in the future, and it's gonna take you a long time to actually have a business like mine where you can travel and make money while you do it. And the next thing here are leads. Leads are the, those people that could potentially turn into customers. So a certain number of you people will watch my videos and you'll never become one of my customers. And that's, that's completely fine. You know, I'm, I'm not only putting out these videos for educational reasons, I also, there's an entertainment aspect to them. I'm trying to grow my brand. I'm trying to also become better at video and filmmaking. So not everyone has to become a lead. But when it comes to my, my business, the goal is to generate leads. And these leads could be the form of emails, people that subscribe to my email list. It could be followers. It's really people who take an interest in the problem that I'm solving or putting out to solve with my products, with my solutions, with my services. The goal is to continually generate leads and you do that by converting the traffic into leads, into email subscribers, into Twitter followers, into Instagram followers, into YouTube subscribers. It doesn't really matter. You're basically trying to always be generating leads. While I'm traveling, while I'm out there um, enjoying my time in a convertible, when I'm traveling and you know going anywhere, could be going to, going to Thailand, I'm on the airplane, while I'm doing other things, leads are continually being generated for my business. People are watching my YouTube videos, people are, are listening to my podcast, they're, they're reading my blog articles, and they're deciding to subscribe to my email newsletter, they're deciding to follow me, they wanna learn more about me. I'm continually generating leads, and a certain number of those leads then will turn into into sales. So a certain number will end up hiring me, a certain number will wanna enroll in one of my coaching programs, they'll wanna buy my book, they'll wanna um, buy a product that I recommend. This is really the formula here. The traffic uh, then forms into the leads, and then the leads is what allows me to earn money in my sleep. So I think the question on, uh, on everyone's mind is, you know, how much money am I making? And um, also, how easy is this to do? And also, why am I sharing this? You know, I guess I'm kind of sharing this because I want to I want to educate more about this in the future. But I also just want to share because I wish someone did that. I wish someone just like plainly laid this out, how to accomplish this. If you want to create a life of freedom, if you want more of a, a lifestyle business, how you can go about doing this. So that's kind of why I'm doing it. But um, the first year that I went into business was uh, 2012 with this particular business. 2012. I was a junior in college. So I was a junior at George Washington University, GWU. Um, our mascot is a hippo. Uh, I don't know why they, they chose, I guess George Washington, you know, is hippo because they used hippo teeth, I think, and, and when he was, had bad teeth, I guess. Uh, but in 2012, I started my blog when I was a junior. That In that year, I, I didn't really do too much. Like I started to write a few articles, that kind of stuff. I wasn't really that serious about it. In 2013, I graduated from college. So in 2013, I started to get more serious. I was doing also another business at the time. And I didn't really take my blogging very seriously. But I'd say in 20, 2013, I earned between six and $8,000 that year. I'm not exactly sure. I have to go back and look at my accounting, um, but I earned between six and $8,000 that year just from the blog. In 2014, a bunch of tumultuous events happened to me. So my girlfriend broke up with me. Um, the job, the part-time job that I had, I was fired from, and my roommate ended up being a heroin addict, which I didn't even know. Uh, I did have my suspicions, but he basically confirmed it, and I had to move out of that, that location. I had to deal with another roommate, and I basically, I had a, a do or die moment, if you will. Like my, my back was to the wall and I had to burn the boats as they say. I had to decide, well, I've been in New York for maybe like four or five months. Um, am I going to make it or am I not gonna make it? So if you're interested, I cataloged more of this in my actual, uh, my channel. I'll link you up with a video where it walks you through how I went from being broke to becoming a full-time blogger. But basically 2014 was the make or break year. So I worked really hard. I, I put together regularly content, putting out my blog. And that year, I earned 
$30,000. And to me, that was great. That was amazing because I was offered a job for $50,000 when I graduated from George Washington University. So to earn 30K, I was like, man, this is awesome. Like, I'm doing what I love. You know, if I want to, I can take a trip. I can do anything. My, my income is not tied to my time. And that was primarily coming from things like sponsorships, advertisements, a bit of freelancing, that kind of stuff. So I earned $30,000 that first year. And then in 2015, this is when I started to, you know, take my, uh, I'm totally butchering this, this is when I started to take my business a little bit more seriously but at the same time I wasn't taking it seriously enough you know I, I was taking it more seriously but like I was still doing things like I was waking up late I didn't have a regiment regimented schedule so in 2015 I earned a little over 50k and that was great to me because like I was offered a job from after graduating for 50k so 2015 is really the year where I was like this is it like I'm gonna be a business owner for the rest of my life um, this is the kind of lifestyle that I want to lead and the fact that I've earned 50k is a confirmation to me that if I keep working I'm gonna go much farther and every single year it just gone up and up and up so I'm really happy um, with that decision so I would say it took me about a year to maybe two years and I didn't really know what I was doing in order to build Build an online business you know of course uh, I had these other two years when I was 20 21 and I didn't really know what I was doing I was kind of just learning a bit about tech startups I didn't even know that like online marketing was a thing or lifestyle businesses were a thing until 2015 so 2015 is actually when I started to put my nose to the grindstone and like focus and actually focus on building more of a company 2014 was a lot of hustle if you will I share this with you because I don't want you to think that this was just like super easy for me to do while uh, while nowadays what I know I could get anyone started very very quickly at the time it was just a lot of learning it was a lot of learning and trying to figure out what to focus on and actually how do you make money online like all that kind of stuff for those of you just getting started now um, this might not be as helpful you know talking about my different income sources and that kind of stuff like you, you don't have time to write a book start a podcast start a blog start an online forum all the kind of stuff that I'm doing it takes time to be able to do that so I'm gonna share with you just very quickly what you can do if you're interested in establishing a life of freedom so you can travel and make money at the same time. The first thing I would recommend is that you begin with services and specifically I would say freelancing. So you want to begin with the services that you can deliver to other people. The services in terms of what are you good at? What information do you know that other people want to know? How can you help other people out? Can you help them with video editing? Can you help them with editing their podcast? You can help with writing or with marketing or whatever you've been doing up until this point. How can you help people by freelancing? And there are a lot of great marketplaces out there like Upwork. You can also just do it on your own website. But freelancing is the quickest way to begin to bring revenue into your life and also into your company, which is sort of just in the early stages of the beginning. The second thing that I would do aside from freelancing, and you're going to need, um, I mean, if you're joining Upwork, you might not need a, a website, but I would recommend setting up a website also. Um, which will be a part of your, your freelancing. And that could be even like helping out with social media, et cetera. This is just to build your brand. The second thing that will make a massive difference and allow you to travel and make money at the same time is to set up a content home base. So what is a content home base? A content home base is a YouTube channel. It could be a blog. It could be a podcast. It's basically somewhere where you're sharing content that the people that are looking to hire you are going to be interested in consuming. So think about it for that, that for a second. Let's just say that you're trying to help people with their social media. You're going to help people, businesses out there, you're going to run their social media for them. Like me, you're going to help me with my Twitter. You're going to help me with my Facebook. Maybe you're going to help me schedule ads or something like that are going to help people with social media. The best thing that you can do to stand head and shoulders above everyone else that's out there is you can create a content hub and you can put out educational or informative content on that topic. So you can show me that you know what you're talking about. You can go through the different tips, the things that I should be doing if I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel, if I'm trying to grow my Instagram following. You can go and say, oh, you should know about these different tools which can help accelerate your, your Twitter following, or these are the different tools that can help you putting together a really effective Facebook advertisement. Just like we talked about before, this content home base in time is what's going to lead to continual traffic and leads into your business 
business, which is for, in this case, the freelancing business. So it's going to allow you to continually get leads and also while you're traveling, eventually you're going to be able to monetize this business so that you're making money from things like sponsor content, making money from things like affiliate marketing, um, some of the other stuff we talked about putting together digital products, but also while you're traveling, you can be working from your laptop because you're not constantly searching out for jobs. You're always getting leads for your business. So the final thing I want to leave you with is that this is not impossible by any means. Like literally anyone out there that has focus and determination and the right mentor can easily accomplish this. I accomplished this in two years. I would say you know, even one year when I got really serious without having any kind of a mentor, just by learning from YouTube videos, learning from podcasts, etc. Um, so anyone out there can travel and make money at the same time if they want to. You can make money in your sleep if you want to. The number one thing that's going to make a difference between your success and your failure is, we'll put this as number one thing, boom, your commitment. So what is commitment? Commitment is just being willing to stick it out, being willing to go through it when the times are tough, being willing to, this just not be a fad in your life, you know, not just something that you're focused on for the next week or the next few days. This is something that a year from now, I'm gonna hear from you saying, hey Sal, I'm still doing this thing. Or hey Sal, thank you for putting out more content, this is really helping me with this thing. The first thing that's gonna make the biggest difference is your commitment level. It is not the resources you have access to, it is not the, the information that you have up until this point, it is your commitment level. And it's also not your intelligence. There are many people that are smarter than me that don't have this kind of a lifestyle and they always are asking me, how do you actually acquire this kind of lifestyle where you can travel and make money at the same time? Inversely, there are people who are not as smart as I am that are making more money than me. It's, it's really infuriating, but it's, it's the truth. Money, when it comes to money, when it comes to setting up this kind of lifestyle or any major change, commitment is the only thing that matters. The next thing that's gonna make the biggest difference when it comes to being able to travel and make money at the same time is your education. Now, education, I'm not talking necessarily about college, I'm not talking about post-grad, I'm not talking about getting an MBA or anything like that. I'm talking about your ability to access Access information that helps you along the way. That information could come in the form of YouTube videos like this. It could be buying into a premium video library where people are teaching you things that aren't taught anywhere else on the web. It could be really education, even just from learning from a mentor or learning from other people, listening to podcasts, reading books. Education is the number one thing, or sorry, the number two thing that's going to make it so that you get this goal faster. So read the right books, you know, right down here. Be willing to read books, be willing to search out people on YouTube, be willing to listen to podcasts, and if you wanna speed it up even faster, you can hire a mentor, or you can do things like online programs that are a bit more comprehensive um, than just what people put out on YouTube. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. Now, I'm not, I don't have any kind of programs right now related to travel and making money and that kind of stuff. I just kinda of want to share this with you and, and sort of get your feedback and also see what you think about it. Is this something that you think you could ever set up for your own life? And if not, then why? You know, why not? If you're dissatisfied with your job, you're not happy with what you're doing, what, what else are you going to do? Are you going to spend the rest of your life, the next 20 to 30 years of your life, just hating your job, hating what you're doing, hating the position that you have in life? If you are ready to make a change, I would also love to hear from you. What more would you love to have me educate about? And also, what more things would you like to learn on this channel? Thanks for joining me. Again, my name is Sal. Hope you like this video. Take a second to subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this. But as always, I will see you next time.